welcome to Naresh High Technologies. This is Ram Chandar. In the last three videos, I did talk about what is static method and how to communicate as well as non-static method as well as wide method. Especially in this video, I am going to talk about what is non-wide method in Java. What is non-wide method in Java? Yes. What is non-wide? A method which is carrying some information from called area to calling area is called non-wide method or simply we can say like this a method which is giving some value a method which is gives some value those type of methods uh, we can call as what non-wide methods. So, let me write the definition here a method which returns some value or a method which returns a method which carries some information from one from called area to calling area is called non void method yes this is what definition related to non void method so how to write how to write non void method in java language here you can take primitive type and method name primitive type method name and open and close curly braces and parentheses and curly braces so primitive data type we can write here we can write also a reference a data type but that is comes under what your factory method we will see in coming classes or nothing but coming videos so here especially i am talking about method which returns what here only primitive data maybe it is a having different access modifier like a public static final public uh, like uh, private default and protected maybe it is a what static maybe it is a what final not a problem it's, but it is giving some value some particular value maybe byte or short or int or long or float and double or char or boolean or uh, primitive array type so all these comes under what here a non void methods in java language something it will giving now observe guys in this place we can write the logic so how many places in how many places can we call non void methods in programmatically so to understand that concept let me take one notepad here i have a class and that class name is uh, method demo good and here i'm taking one method like a boolean m1 method nice now here I'm writing like system dot out dot println here non void method or simply let me write like a boolean m1 method boolean m1 method means boolean return type m1 method for understand user friendly message purpose I'm writing so a method which contains a return type that method must and should be ended with what return statement with value return statement with appropriate value so let me write here one two three that is not a appropriate value this is comes under by default int int cannot be converted into boolean as well as boolean we cannot be converted into int type programmatically i will show you wait for some time after completion of the program now let me save this program what is that method demo dot java and all types save it now let me take here one method what is that method public static void main and string s so here i am taking one main method in the main method maybe it is a static maybe it is a non-static whatever it may be so previously void method i am taking as static in last video now in this video let me take this non-void method as what now non-static so if you want to communicating with the non-static methods from the static uh, context uh, definitely what we required object we required there is no other alternative if you want to communicating with the non-static methods within the static context maybe it is a static block maybe it is a what now static uh, method maybe it is a static initialization place we can't call non-static methods uh, directly definitely damn sure what we required object we required either reference or object or an anonymous object m md dot uh, m1 method then what happened m1 method will be executing so let me compile this program let me compile yes java c 
method demo dot java what is the problem here we need to write how to create the object by using new keyword new method demo now clear the screen and java c method demo dot java now java method demo now what happened uh, it will showing like uh, could not find our load main class method demo so my class name is what here m e t h o d here my class name is what here m e t h o d but here i'm typing like what m e t o d so spelling mistake here nothing than else so method demo java method demo what happened boolean m1 method returns not returns it is just printing the statement but basically m1 method returns what boolean type value i want to hold it so here if you are using if you are calling directly or by if you are using object what happen you know m1 method will be calling and whatever the logic which we have in the m1 method that will be executed and uh, it will returns what here true but we are we are not holding in this particular point for example if your requirement is not return type only i want to execute that logic better to go like this but our requirement is not only execute the logic whatever the return value which is coming from the m1 method if you want to hold that definitely we can go for two types of statements one is by using swp and the one is what here by using initialization place if you want to use that value exactly one time better to go for what here swp statement so let me show you that system dot out dot print ln md dot m1 method now observe java c method demo dot java good and java method demo what happened two times i'm calling m1 method but only one time it will printing what here true so previously true is came to our main method but we didn't catch it but in this method in this statement we are calling m1 method and it returns it returns like what here true this md dot m1 will be replaced with uh, system dot out dot print ln md dot m1 will be replaced with what uh, true so this method is matched with what here system dot out dot print ln of uh, boolean type so what is the meaning here if you are writing any in the sop if you are writing any byte value short value int value long float double char whatever the value boolean if you are writing that value as it is printed on the where here output device like here console so this system dot out dot print ln of md dot m1 will be replaced with system dot out dot print ln of true so system dot out dot print ln of true means what here true will be printed on the console so how many times i'm using that true return type exactly one time i want to use multiple times in the three or four places i want to use then what i need to do i want to hold that value permanently how can we hold the value with the help of variable variable that value will be placed into the memory that memory is pointed by the variable variable is a named memory location name for a memory memory name for a memory here in that memory what we have boolean value like true we have so let me show you that what is that statement boolean b1 equal to boolean b1 equal to what here m1 method so m1 method is non static method definitely what we required here object we required md dot m1 then let me compile and execute let me compile and execute what happen here i'm not using multiple times observe one more time executing boolean m1 will be printed but i'm not using if you want to use it very simple let me write system dot out dot system dot out dot print ln system dot system dot out dot print ln what here b1 value so how many times i'm using not only one time if you want to use multiple times you can use it so how many times i'm using the b1 method two times now clear the screen and let me compile the program one more time what is that method name file name method demo dot java and another one is what method demo now how many times i'm calling how many times i'm calling programmatically this is one this is the second time this is the third time so three times executing and how many times of return value coming three times but in this place this enter md dot m1 will replace with what a true but i'm not using either single time or multiple times here md dot m1 method returns uh, true how many times i'm using only one time that also printing on the console here md dot m1 method replace with a true 
here that uh, true value employees into where you are b1 so as many times we are using b1 those many times we are interact with the value like what here true itself now let me show the output and java method demo how many times i am using two times three times four times or single time you can so here the conclusion is if you want to execute the only non void method logic just go for md dot m1 if you want to communicate just printing the return type value then we can go for what sop if you want to use that return value multiple times in different different places then we can go for what here initialization concept so this is the way we can able to communicating with what here non void methods so if i am written like if i am not writing return statement simply we can say like uh, compiler giving missing return statement here we need before that we need to before curly braces what we need to do we need to write the return statement so the main differences the main differences between void and non void is only one thing here void and non void not return any value this is return some value void we can call directly directly we can't take usage of we can't call we can't call from sop and from initialization and from and from initialization place we can't call from sop and initialization place non void methods non void methods we can call we can call directly so here t and we can call from sop and we can call from initialization place so like this there are major differences between what here void and non void so non void means what so the here this guy written only boolean type uh, and every time run void methods written boolean value don't we think like that you can write what any other written type also now in term to method here i'm writing like here i'm writing like system dot out dot print and m2 method and what type of m2 method is this is uh, int return type m2 method so definitely what i need to write here int value so let me uh, call this m2 method how by using sop system dot out dot print and and uh, here i'm calling m2 method by using md method demo reference now observe guys whether the m2 method is executing or not then you can understand and whether i return any return statement yes here i uncommented this one and again i'm compile the program so here observe guys again i'm compiling the program java c a uh, method demo dot java is yes, successfully not compiled why there is a semicolon record here then again i'm compiling yes successfully compiled and what happened here successfully executed also return type can be anything byte type you can write short type you can write wrong float double char anything you can write but whenever we return the value you must and should be concentrate on uh, casting also for example for example if my return type is what here int i can't uh, uh, returns what your float value and double value and boolean value so whenever we talking about the whenever we talking about non static method sorry non void methods we need to understand uh, return type we need to concentrate on return type as well as return statement value so this is the way to communicating with uh, non void methods in java language so i hope you understand uh, this video and also enjoy this video uh, for more videos please subscribe naresh it channel thank you mm -hmm.